Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is a fun masculine share card that was shared with me to me um, by a member of my downline, Judy Goodyear. So a shout out to Judy. So let's get started, and I'll show you the size pieces of paper I used. First off, I used Smoky Slate five and a half by eight and a half, a piece two by five and a half, and then a basic gray that's three. And and three quarter by five and just a small piece of white. So let's start with the vest. I'm using that Argyle um, embossing folder. Going to bring in my textured boutique and run that through my machine to get that embossing. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that tree punch. You know, the Christmas tree punch that we've used at Christmas that you have put away and haven't been using. We'll bring it back out for our masculine card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tree punch, I'm going to line the edge of it up with my card, and I'm just going to punch a small V for the bottom of my vest. And then I'm going to go up at the top, again, lining up on the side and bringing it right down to the trunk of that tree, and there I have my vest. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that piece of basic gray, and I am going to measure up three inches, and I'm going to make a little mark, and then I'm going to go up here at the top and make another mark at the one inch. And I'm going to use that as a guide with my paper trimmer. So I'm going to put my dot there, dot there, and run that through my cutter. So I've got my basic um, card done. Going to take that smoky slate base. Going to add my vest. I don't see my snail right off hand, so I'm just going to use glue dots. Glue dots work well anyways with that embossing folder. Make sure that it sticks well. I'm also going to take that small piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to place that. Now we could change this to be any color shirt, but I'm using a white shirt. So I'm going to place that about there. Going to bring in my candy dots and I'm just going to grab some gray candy dots and put down the center for my buttons. Now this works better if you have a paper piercer, but of course my paper piercer is nowhere to be found. Also a little tip that if you take your two buttons and put here, then you can put the, the next one in the middle. So I've got that. Next I'm going to add, of course I'm putting the glue dots on the wrong side, so let's just remove that. I'm going to add my vest to the side of my card. Got a glue dot picking out there. I've got that there. I've already stamped the happy birthday with um, the Teeny Tiny Wishes modern label and word window. So I'm going to add that right about there. Next I need to do my bow tie. I am using the Naturals Designer Series Paper Stack and so I need to punch two of them like so. I'm going to bring in my bone folder and kind of curl this piece here. I just find it easier to make that bow tie go together if you curl those pieces. I'm going to add a glue dot Put it together like so, and the other one. I'm going to use another glue dot to put them together. And then I'm going to place a glue dot in the middle on both the front 
and the back of that bow so that I can run my little centerpiece around. And now I'm ready to put my tails on again. I could just use my bow tie like so without the tails, but I kind of like those little tails. And then add another glue dot so that I can put it on my card. And there you have an adorable tie birthday card. Oops, got it stuck to the inside of that card. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and you join me again real soon. Bye-bye.